Oh, hello, good morning. Here we are in the bathroom. Just had what TikTok would call my everything shower. And I thought I would start vlogging. I wanna vlog this week. So here we are, we're getting this off to a start. I just have to actually shout out this towel <laughs> because I haven't bought one of these before. It's just a microfiber one, like a hair turban basically. And obviously, like being a hairdresser, I say to clients all the time use a microfiber towel, but I don't actually practice what I preach. I don't know why I haven't done this before. I don't know why it's taken me this long. They are amazing. This one is a brand called Kitsch. It's just so easy. But the thing about this one, if you can see, it has a button on the back and then like a big piece of elastic on the front bit. So you basically do it over, twist, and just clip the button so you don't have to faff around tucking it in under here. It just feels great. I bought it off Look Fantastic. That's another thing I just want to say. I've got some discount codes that I keep forgetting to give you. I think I've given you one before from Elemis, but I also have one for Look Fantastic and Monica Vinida, and they're all 20% off. So I'm gonna just leave them in the description bar forever, but I keep forgetting to tell you this. And this was from Look Fantastic, and it's of course everything on Look Fantastic, not just hair stuff. There are some brand exemptions, but anyway, I just wanted to remember to say that to you. So, I'm vlogging today because I'm actually gonna go and get my hair cut. I don't know if anyone remembers. A few vlogs ago, I mentioned that I had booked well, probably three months ago now, actually, I booked to go to the Hair Bros, who are in London, like Chelsea kind of area. And if you don't know who they are, they're basically two guys that used to work at Hershison's, which was quite a big salon. And their whole thing is that they cut your hair dry, so you have to wash it before you go and leave it to air dry so they can see it in its natural state. And then they cut it, and the cut's supposed to be amazing for you because it's your natural hair, so it requires minimal styling. It's very expensive what it is, and many, I can imagine many would be like, that's really not worth it, because you don't even really get a blow dry, they don't wash your hair, it's literally just the cut, and that, I think they kind of hand style it, maybe dry it slightly, but it's all very like organic and natural. I'm not getting it done with, the hair bros are just two guys that are friends, I'm getting it done with another girl called Roxy who works there, but it's also just, yeah, it's like a kind of market research thing for me as well because I just like to go to other salons see how they do things and this is such a it's not such a different way of cutting hair dry cutting has been around for ages but no one really does it the, the fact that this is their whole salon concept and they charge as much as they do and they have as much popularity as they do I just thought I want to go I also wanted to see their salon interiors and stuff now I've been sent recently a lot of skincare which has been amazing which I'll show you it's in the bedroom at the moment but earlier it's napping but one of them was a package from this brand called Philorga. I've had a couple of their things before, but I've been using this cleanser as like my morning cleanse. And I actually really like it. It's got hyaluronic acid in it. It's a foam cleanser and it says it removes makeup. I don't know that it would be as good as removing makeup as like a balm cleanser, for example. For a first morning cleanse, um, I think it's really good. I, I usually like to just put a light cleanser on in the morning. Some people say you don't need to. If you've cleansed the night before, just splash your face with water. but. I do like to have a bit of a cleanse, you know? Um, I just don't feel as like fresh with just splashing water. And then if I'm applying serums and stuff, I need to, I need to just, I, need, I just need to cleanse. I'm also just trying out the Skin Suitical CE for it as my vitamin C serum. Some of you might remember, was it on here? I, think, I don't know if I spoke about it on here. I had a tester of their hyaluronic acid, which I really liked, but this is the product that I really wanted to try because everyone says it's such an amazing vitamin C. I don't know how you do it. You might just be able to go on their site, but I get served a lot of their ads on Instagram and you can sign up for samples. And so I signed up to get a sample of this because I really wanted to try it. I actually have had some skin cuticle stuff sent to me recently, but they didn't send this. They sent another vitamin C, which I'll move on to after this one. But because this is such a cold product, I just wanted to try it. The only thing is, and I remember this is why I stopped using like serum vitamin C and moved on to the Sunday Riley vitamin C, but I don't know how good that vitamin C is. I don't know that it's great, or like the best one that you can get. The plus point of the Sunday Riley one is it doesn't make your hands smell like metal. I feel like vitamin C serums, I just can't get the smell of metal off my hands. I feel like I've been holding coins or like been on a swing or something. Do, do you know what I mean when I say that? And I hate it. And it doesn't matter how much I wash my hands with soap, I cannot get that smell off. So that's the only thing about vitamin C that I hate. And I'm not sure if I've mentioned this. This is um, my day moisturiser that I've been using for a while. I just grabbed it on a whim because I needed a moisturiser with an SPF. And I think this was on offer. 
I can't remember, but I didn't want to pay very much for a day moisturiser. I was like, I just need something. So I gave this a go, but I actually love it and feel like I would repurchase this. It's, it's the CeraVe SPF 50, just their moisturising lotion. It's so good. I didn't have any expectations really from it. I didn't expect to like it that much. I love it. I actually think I might like it more than the La Roche-Posay and Thelios one. I don't know. I don't know. But I just feel like I really like it. Makeup goes on lovely on top of it. It's gorge. Okay, then lastly, I'm just going to sort my hair out, but leave it to dry. It's going to be so weird to not... I usually, like, even if I don't style it every day, I'll usually just blast dry it. So it's just going to be weird to not do anything to it. So all I'm going to do is spritz my leave-in conditioner. This is the best leave-in conditioner ever. Well, one of the best, one of my faves. I would usually put like a volume spray in, but I'm not going to do anything, just that. And that's just so I can get a brush through it, really. And then I'm just going to brush it out and put it into my parting. Like because I have a cowlick, I'd usually really at least brush this forward and blast it like flat. But I can't even do that. I just have to air dry. Okay, there we go. She's ready. I am going to put some makeup on at some point before I go. But that's basically, that's me ready for the day. Okay. Um, I have just given Elliot some breakfast, like actual breakfast. This is a very new thing. It's actually the first day that I've done that. I mentioned weaning second time around is just all over the place. He's lucky if he gets food at some point during the week. But I'm telling myself it's it's easier when Gabe, like he'll start nursery five days a week in September. I know it's going to be a lot easier to keep on top of them. I just find it really difficult to manage when they're both at home. When we were at my mum's, it felt easier because obviously my mum and Hainsley were there. And when Hainsley and I are home together, it's easier. But it's just, I feel like I can't be that consistent with it. I, I'm reading these weaning books second time around and I'm like, sorry, a seven month old on three meals a day. What? But I don't know, maybe maybe some seven months old are on three, months, three meals a day. So anyway, he's just had a bit of breakfast and then I think I'm still going to get Hainsley to give him a bit of bottle in maybe half an hour but because he did actually eat he, he, he definitely swallowed a lot anyway i never just hang out sorry this doesn't go i still wear this as if i've got a bump this doesn't go with this um dressing gown because i got this dressing gown in the sale in h&m and the robe the tie was missing and i keep meaning to ask my mom to find a piece of linen that will match this but i haven't got around to it so this is what we do and i still wear it as if i'm pregnant so there we go I'm just gonna make my smoothie. Um, and I've made this smoothie with you before, but I actually add something else in now. It's a protein smoothie. Um, I haven't actually eaten anything this morning, so I'm quite hungry now. All right, banana, in we go. So I've started trying to have this every morning to up my protein and basically like front load the day with protein so that then if, I, if like the rest of the day is eating all over the place, at least I know that I have got this in first thing because I was trying to do this like mid morning, but again, with the kids being home, that doesn't always happen. So I try and have this as like one of the first things that I have when I get up. Um, so this is the protein powder. I've spoken about this before. I love it. It's actually delicious. It's not grainy. It's not artificially sweet. I don't, I'm not interested in a vegan protein. I want a whey protein, but just a good quality whey protein. This is probably the best quality I found. Would highly, highly, highly recommend. It's expensive, but if that's where you want to invest your money, I'm all for it. I definitely think, especially getting older, that these things are important. So yeah, it's the Organic Protein Co. And this is the raw cacao and maca. I have now started to add in some collagen peptides. These are the vital proteins ones. Just Vital proteins ones, that sounds weird. It's good for protein, but also collagen is just good for um, anti-aging. Now that I'm at this age, you know, I need to get my collagen in. But this is flavourless, so it doesn't actually add anything to the smoothie. Peanut butter. And I'm making sure that I take my supplements so i'm still using the world nutrition pregnancy and new mother support ones these are expensive but i think they're worth investing in because again i was just forgetting to take these every day so i feel like at least if i know that i do my smoothie and take my supplements every single morning when i get up it's done and i won't forget it but yeah did i finish what i was saying about the dressing gown i never just mince around in my dressing gown I have a shower and then i get dressed i don't just hang out in my dressing gown and i have done today 
and it feels it feels really bougie. I'm I'm really quite enjoying it, especially whilst having my smoothie and just feeling fab. I actually got Botox for the first time this week. I don't know that you'll notice full stop, um, but definitely not at this point. I think it takes about a week to see half the results and then like three weeks to see all of them. It's something that I've been wanting to get. If you follow if you follow me for a while, you may know, know that I'm not averse to a little tweak moment, okay? I'm all for it when you get to the right age. Um, I've had my lips done and it was literally the best decision I ever made. I've had them done three times in total in the space of a year and a half. And that was about, oh, I feel like that could have been like five years ago. And I haven't had them done since because I haven't felt like I've needed to. But Botox is something that I was thinking about as I age. And I just felt like it was the right time to do it. I'm late thirties. I'm lucky I don't have like deep set wrinkles or deep set lines, especially around my eyes, but I am starting to get, they don't fade as much from my forehead. So this is just the right time to start doing Botox. I don't believe in doing preventative Botox in your 20s. No way. Wait until your 30s before you can contemplate doing anything like this. And also, this is not me saying everyone needs to do it and you can't age well without doing these things, but this is just how I just want to do it. And if it's right for you, it's right for you. I'm just very into this TikTok thing of high, low, high maintenance to be low maintenance. And I definitely feel now that I'm getting older, as a mum of two, just being tired all the time. Anything I can do to make me look and feel as good as I can without having to put too much effort in day to day, I'm all for this road. And I mentioned when I talked about Invisalign, I'm just on this glow up journey now that I've had my kids, you know? So that's where we are. She's done the Botox, we'll see how that is in a few weeks. And there we go. And then, yeah, she's gonna get a haircut. So I'm gonna finish this smoothie and finish getting ready and then we'll head out. I'm gonna get my hair cut. Live from South Kent. I just grabbed a birch music bottle from Pep. There's a really practical thing to eat off the go, but I didn't want to get a croissant. Okay, that road I was on was really quiet and then it randomly became really busy, and we all know how I feel about vlogging in public. So I'm still not sure how I feel about doing this, but I found Sydney Street. I just need to cross this road. There we go. Oh, look at that wave there at the front. Um, but anyway, I think I'm going to cut to just under the chin. I don't want it to look too mum bobby, that's the problem with when I get my hair cut, it goes a bit too blunt. So yeah, really this is my before. Um, oh, and I was going to show you what I've decided to wear, which is not very interesting. This is from Arquette. I've got uh, navy linen trousers from H&M on my Burks. This is my Uniqlo tote. Look, this is very uniform with maybe a client of the hair bros. Oh, it looks very cute for me. This is cute next to it, with the flowers. Let's go. Oh, bloody hell. Notice I've just changed outfit because it's so hot. Oh my God, let's get the windows open. Oh God, I haven't even spoken to you. I've had my hair cut, obviously. Um, didn't really vlog much in there because it just didn't really feel, I didn't feel like saying like, oh by the way, can I just whip my camera out? Do you know what I mean? This is the cut, this is where we are, can we see it? So I'm happy with it. Um, it's dried naturally. I, it's, I don't know, I don't love my hair dried naturally, but it's the first time I think I've had my hair cut and then not wanted to like wash my hair and restyle it, you know? Like I'm fine with it now. Lovely salon. I feel like maybe I'll talk to you probably about it a bit later. Um, because I'm just nipping out to, I got home and realized that we've got no food in. So I'm just gonna go and do a little, we usually get our food shop delivered, but we have nothing. So I'm going to just nip and do a quick little food shop, a quick little big food shop. Uh, what was I going, oh my God, I picked up the keys to my salon. I didn't tell you that. Again, I was kind of vlogging in the wild. Well, I was out in the wild, wasn't I? And, I just don't really like to vlog in the wild. I would have taken you with me properly, but I didn't. Anyway, on the way home, I thought, let me just go and pick up the keys to my salon because we completed yesterday. I don't know why they're using the term complete. I haven't bought the place. I was a bit like, have I just bought this place by mistake? But no, I mean, definitely not. But they kept using the term, we're due to complete on Monday. And then they messaged me saying, we've now completed. So you can pick the keys up. So I just went into that because the office, the estate agents 
is a couple of stops on from the stop that I come home to on the train. So I was like, I may as well just go and do it now and then it's done and I've got the keys. I don't know that I'm gonna get to the salon until Thursday because I'm having a basin delivered. So I need to go there on Thursday, but I don't know that I'm gonna get there before that because I'm doing my big shot now. Unless I go this evening, just to pop in and see it. But I, I wanna go now and just look at it because I can obviously remember how it is, but it's gonna be different to kind of go in and be like, oh my God, this is mine now. I can't wait to go in and obviously show all of you. I was hoping to be working pretty solidly out of it by, like, yeah, by September, but the plumbing, can't happen as soon as I thought it would be able to. That can't happen until the beginning of September. So I don't know that I will probably be working out of it from mid to end of September. It gives me like a good overlap. I can go in now. I know that like there's kitchen cabinets I want to sort out for storage and I can really kind of map out where I want things to go. There's no, no rush to start working out of it because I've got my current place until October. Nice. It would have just been nice to be like, oh, the plumbing sorted because that's the, the main thing that I, I can't start working there without the plumbing being sorted. I just can't believe I've just picked up the keys to my own actual salon. I should celebrate. Should I get some Prosecco? At the same time, I don't like, I, I, I don't know how I feel. I picked up the keys to my salon and it's Gay's birthday this week. Like, what a week. I completely forgot I've got Redken boxes in here to take to the new salon. So I actually don't have much space in the boot for my shopping. It's fine. We can make it work. Okay, here we are. So Elliot's apparently not napping in the afternoons anymore, so that's great. I did hair all day yesterday, and then when I got home, Hainsey was like, oh, so Elliot's been up, God, what is going on? Elliot's been up since one, and I got home at like five, and I was like, okay, great. I can't remember what age Gabe, I've, I remember it becomes more difficult for them to take this afternoon nap because really you just want them to have like a little half an hour situation to get them through until bedtime. But I don't remember Gabe. Like Elliot's almost eight months, he'll be eight months next week. I, I can't remember the timelines, but apparently he's not napping now in the afternoon. So there we go. Um, do we want to go through what I bought from the supermarket? Bottled water. I know this is going to divide opinion because it's plastic. I do recycle them. I just try not to drink tap water. So I like to get spring water instead. The crisps that Gabe slash mummy likes. Um, I mean, I know, he, Gabe is a bougie babe. But my little prince gets what he wants, you know? Painfully, my other prince only eats this granola. Eggs, basmati rice. This is the best bagged salad you can get. It's, it's not anything exciting, but it comes with ranch dressing and crispy onions, and it's so good. Cucumber. Bananas, because we love bananas in this house. On the vine, cherry tomatoes. Blueberries, we already have some, so I've just got a smaller packet, but to kind of see us through till the next big shop. Carrots. Butter, which we don't need right now, because we've got butter in our butter dish, but um, in case we run out. Gabe's yogurts, DJ Valley ones are his favorite. Hummus. Mozzarella, coleslaw. Salmon and burgers. We didn't actually really need much meat, but I just got these. And last but not least, semi-skimmed milk. I haven't actually updated you on what we've been doing since I last vlogged. I haven't vlogged for a couple of weeks. Oh yeah, last time you saw me, we were at my mum's. So we made it safe and sound in that car. And we love that car. So working towards getting that car. It was kind of like a dry run of leaving the house with two kids. And it was no pressure because it's my mum's house. We don't need to do anything particularly amazing when we're there. It was just like, let's just leave the house with everything, go somewhere else and see how we get on. Also, Gabe is still in a car, pro purely because he's never tried to climb out of it. He's, very, he's fine in it. He's not showing signs that he wants to be out of it. It turns into a toddler bed. The original plan had been that once Elliot was big enough to go into a cot, we would, he would have Gabe's existing cot and we would get Gabe a new bed. When it came to that time, I thought, I think Gabe's ready to, will be fine in a bed, but what if like he gets out in the middle of the night, he gets up in the morning and gets out, because sometimes he'll wake up early, and if he's in his cot 
he will sometimes fall back to sleep. Similarly, if he's not at, if he's not that tired at night and ready to go to bed, if we put him to bed, he'll just hang out in his cot for a bit and then he'll fall asleep. So I was just a bit worried that if it's a bed, he might just start getting in and out. And I feel like I'm not ready for that with Elliot at the age he's at yet. At my mum's house, she only has a big bed for him to sleep in and a travel cot for Elliot. Um, so she's got two spare rooms. So me, Hainsey and I are in her room. She has a double bed in there with Elliot in the travel cot. And then she has two spare rooms, one of which has a single bed in it. So obviously that's high up and a single bed. So it was a bit like, oh, how's Gabe gonna sleep? We had a thing called a baby Dan which is basically like a bed guard. So it's quite flat, easy to travel with. You unfold it and like place it underneath the mattress and it, it basically then puts a side on the bed so he doesn't fall out. And so it was a bit like, well, how's he gonna be? He slept, it was no different than if he was at home. He did so well, I was so happy that he was just such an angel. First night he was obviously looking around a bit in the bed and a bit like, what's this? But once he was asleep, didn't hear a peep from him. Then he kind of woke at about five-ish. I went in and laid in the bed with him and he just fell back to sleep. And then Hainsley went up to get him. He didn't wake up till something like half eight that morning. And even then he didn't really want to get out of bed. He loved it. And the following two nights, because we were there for three nights, he was amazing. He slept like an angel. So exceeded our expectations. So it was, it was just really nice that that was not a problem. Elliot slept like an angel in his travel cot. So it was a success because as I say, it was just kind of, going somewhere else and just seeing what happens um and they both just slept so well so it just made it really worthwhile and it was just nice to be with my mum down where she is which is lovely in Somerset and yeah as I say I didn't do loads but it was just nice to be there with her and as I say the kids did so well so I was so happy is that you hello oh Hello, good morning. I'm wearing the same thing as yesterday because it's hot. Oh, and I just don't feel like I have many hot clothes options, to be honest. Second day hair, this is why I don't let it naturally do its thing because I just don't think it looks great on the second day. But, you know, it's fine. But I do feel like I'd like to wash it today and style it myself. Where is my purses in there? Great. It's Wednesday morning. Gabe's at nursery today. Um, Hainsey's working. He was up and out at like half five this morning. Me on duty all morning. What was I just looking for? Elliot's dummies in the kitchen. Um, I gave Elliot some breakfast. He's just had a bottle, some breakfast and like a top up bottle. And now we're gonna head out because, mainly because I came on my period this morning and I wouldn't usually feel the need to disclose that information, but it's only because it was just really unexpected and I don't know why. Because yeah, I probably should be on my period around now, but usually, usually I just feel like I have a bit more warning, like, I feel like I'm due on and I just didn't feel like that at all. So when I went to the loo this morning, I was like, oh, and then it turns out I don't really have anything, like I've run out. So so we need to go out to get mummy bits. And then I'm gonna get a coffee and maybe a croissant. And yeah, just have a nice little morning walk and then we'll come back. It'll probably be around nap time for Elliot by then. And I've got like as many things that I need to do as well as kind of trying to chill, but I've got like as many things I need to do for the salon mostly and then I'm going to go to the salon tomorrow morning because I've got a chair being delivered so I'll take you along then. <laughs> Are you very excited? Where's my happy boy? <laughs> happy Ellie. <laughs> so there we go, right we're going to head off into town. Let's go. Look at this very chilled boy with his leg. Okay we are back. It's now down for a nap before I waste nap time altogether by scrolling for hours on end which was just about to happen. I'm gonna make myself something to eat because I haven't eaten this morning actually I've just had my smoothie um so we went into town and I got my you know supplies I got some more floss uh, and I got more mascara and this is my favorite mascara but I can't quite believe I've spent the money on this it's the Lancome doll eyes waterproof Lancome hypnose doll eyes waterproof this was 28 pounds 28 pounds for a mascara, like, am I insane? I think I may be, but I've been burnt by so many mascaras before. This is the only one, I've got really shit lashes, and this is the only one that when I use an eyelash curler holds the curl. Eight quid, I think this is gonna push me towards, I think LVL might be worth it for me. I love an LVL, but LVL is quite expensive, but I feel like actually, if this is now 30 pounds basically, Maybe I should just get an LVL and then I won't need to buy this anymore. Anyway, that's my thoughts of this morning. I'm going to make myself something to eat. That is going to be eggs. 
avocado and toast <laughs> because what else would you eat um, when you're child free and have got the time to make it so I'm going to do that as I say before nap time suddenly over and it's like I've not done anything and I need to start doing some admin bits I'm just sitting in front of this chair because Gabe's camera's plugged in because the battery's low and I'm just watch oh I'm just watching him because he has just been fucking around for ages um and I'd usually just leave him because he's fine in his cot um if he doesn't go to sleep for ages he just kind of rolls around and has a chat to himself but he keeps taking his nappy off have I talked about this on YouTube or is it on only on Instagram? I think it's only on Instagram. He keeps taking his nappy off. Um, so we've got a potty, but he, he doesn't tend, he's done it once at night. Well, it wasn't at night. I think it was very early in the morning. And when I went in, his little bum was just hanging out. But because he's not ready to go to sleep, he keeps taking his nappy off. <laughs> so I have to keep an eye on him to go off and put it back on. But anyway, whilst I've been doing that, I've obviously been scrolling TikTok. Um, and I've just ordered my first tube of retinol. I'm off. Look, oh, I guess, can you see the Botox is starting to kick in? Like I, I get, I've got a little line there, but I used to get loads here, and there was less. So that's exciting. I think because I've been looking at skincare and stuff, my TikTok's just filled with skincare content, and I knew that I should start using a retinol. Um. I've recently introduced copper peptides into my skincare routine. There's one from The Ordinary. Again, I saw on TikTok that that is something to be using at my age. Um, also, I should have done these things like five years ago. So if you're early 30s and you're thinking about trying to age as well as possible, start doing these things now. So get copper peptides, get a good vitamin C. I'm trying a sample of the skin tooth called CE Ferulic and it's everywhere on TikTok <laughs> and lots of dermatologists. I follow a few that I really trust and they all seem to say it's the one. There was a bit of like conflicting information. There was one girl that posted a thing saying that it's like a yellowy orange because it's oxidised, it's gone off and then lots of dermatologists were like, no, that's the vitamins in there that makes it that colour. And that skin skin suitacles spend so much money on their research, and this is like the, one of the very very best vitamin C's. Um, so I think I'm quite sold on that. I've been enjoying the um, the sample of it, but as I say, I have been sent um, some skin suitacle stuff, and one of them is the Floretin C F, which I think is vitamin C and ferulic. So once I run out of this sample, I'm going to use that before I buy the C E ferulic and just see which one I prefer. But I think I'm quite taken with the C E ferulic one. Anyway, and I've used vitamin C on and off over the years, but as I've mentioned, I think I did say to you when I was washing my face, I hate how it makes my hands smell of metal. So I don't, I, I haven't used it as much as I should have done throughout my years. And anyway, I've, start, I've introduced copper peptides and I do need to start using a retinol. Like if I'm spending this money on looking after my skin and aging well, I can't not be using a retinol. So anyway, the one I've just ordered is the Medicate Crystal Retinol. So everyone talks about Tretinoin, which is prescription I was contemplating booking with a dermatologist to get a proper consultation and then see if I could get a prescription retinol because I am 38 I just thought let's try something but it's hard to to know what one to try there's also one that's a313 which is a French pharmacy one which isn't retinol but it's a type it's like a similar kind of thing I could go on about this for ages but I decided on the Medicaid one there's three different strengths I've ordered number one there's one three and six and you move up them I've ordered number one it's 45 pounds with my look fantastic discount it's 35 couldn't say no one of the dermatologists I follow on TikTok said that that was a very good place to start if you've never used retinol before and then to go up the percentages and then she said the skin suitacles retinol range is the closest thing to tretinoin which is the prescription one that everyone goes on about i'll see how i get on with this good morning everyone i'm having quite an emotional week um and i was gonna come on here actually ready to sob because i actually felt a bit sad but I'm now standing in my own salon, which I can't quite believe. The delivery that I came here to wait for has been delivered. So I've only been here like half an hour and they came the earlier part of the delivery window, which is great. 
But yeah, I'm gonna show you my empty salon. I just can't believe I am here. I just wanna stay here now and just sort it out. There's so much to do, but I can't actually do anything until I get the plumbing sorted, which isn't happening for God knows how long. No, it's, back, it's happening beginning of September, but I was hoping it would happen like end of August, but um, it's not going to. Anyway, without further ado, let me introduce you to my new salon. I guess maybe we'll start from the outside and we'll just go in. We'll just walk in, shall we? We'll go out the front door, my front door. Here we go, this is the outside. It's called the nail studio at the moment, but that will change. And so will this, I mean, this isn't actually, I'm gonna paint the outside, but it's not actually as urgent as I thought it was. Anyway, you walk in and this is what it looks like. So it's all freshly painted, like in terms of condition wise, taking on a shop, this is amazing because it's basically ready to go. Freshly painted, I love the panelled walls. And the, that, I mean, they're quite nice lights, it's not awful. Um, much better than I have currently. Lovely floors, lots of power sockets. There's three alone along that wall. And then there's two along this wall. This is my backwash that has just been delivered, which is very exciting. Um, and then we've got a lovely big window. So this makes the space really, really bright. Once I've got everything in, I'm wondering about little things like, I don't think I have a bench there, but I think this will be some kind of waiting area. Like I'll put the chair that I've currently got at my basin, which is from Ikea, I'll probably put in this corner. Have this as some kind of seating area. The backwash is gonna go kind of here. So there'll be space like there. So I have to kind of map everything out and then I see my sections being on this side because there's like I could theoretically have one here. I don't know about having one there because it depends how far the backwash comes out. I've got a little kitchen area and you can see there's also this free space here. Depending on the plumbing will depend on what can go here. I was thinking some kind of big piece of storage or even like retail shelving or something, but something definitely needs to go here, even if it's just a big sideboard or something can't look at a room like this and think right i'll put this there this there it's going to take a while for me to kind of piece this all together but something needs to go here this is the kitchen i'm going to be putting kitchen cabinets above uh, because that's where i will store my color and then there's cabinets here but they don't have doors which i quite like because now i can choose what doors to have i want to go like the anna edit and do some kind of pine or do i want to go white or pine with a white door any references that anyone wants to send me, please do, because I need all the input. And then this is the toilet, very, very small. I'm gonna put something at the window, change the lampshade, and again, this sink he's gonna change so that it's got, um, oh, this has got two taps on this bit, but anyway, he's gonna connect it all so that that can just be like a normal sink. Yeah, it's all a bit TVC. And then I definitely want to get blinds to go along that big window. You see where it's, there's the small window there in that one. I just wanna get roller blinds that go a lot, oh along the top here because the sun streams through there which is lovely but obviously i want to be able to put a blind down so that it's not too hot in here and also when i'm not here so that people can't look in so yeah that's the view from like back of the salon looking out that's what it looks like i just can't believe i'm here i can't believe we made it we did this but like here i am in my salon this is amazing oh god my god there's a socket up here as well